out in the second round again. I mean, seriously, what do we have to do to get past the second round of the playoffs? Maybe I should feel good that we're at least not one of these teams like the Wild who are out in the first round every year. But we all know this team is more than talented enough to get farther than the second round. Although, now that we're probably about to lose Landeskog, maybe not anymore. I mean, I guess we do still have McKinnon, McCarr, and a Vesna finalist in Grubauer, so all hope's not lost, but we better make it farther into the playoffs this time around. Wow, we actually managed to get Landeskog signed? Sweet! Oh, and then we lost Grubauer to Seattle. How is that the guy that we ended up letting walk? It's not like you need a goaltender to get deep into the playoffs or anything, and now I don't know who's going to play in net for us. I guess it's going to be Darcy Kemper. He's really gotten Arizona pretty far. Although, I guess on the other hand, Arizona is a complete dumpster fire, and the fact that they weren't a total embarrassment with him in net Maybe he could do a lot better with a good team in front of him. At least we better hope so. Okay, uh, definitely not an ideal start to the season, but McKinnon was out for a little bit, so that could explain some of it. Plus, Vegas and Tampa Bay are off to slow starts as well, and they'll probably both end up making the playoffs as well. So yeah, nothing to worry about just yet. No! Ugh, great, now McKinnon's out again? <sighs> I guess it is something to worry about. Never mind, see, even without McKinnon, we're still out here absolutely destroying teams. All it really took was just a little bit of extra time to knock the rust off and get into the flow of the season. Now this team is more unstoppable than, well, than Avalanche. That's a good one, right? So this Kale McCarr guy's pretty good, huh? I mean, how many defensemen in the league can go coast to coast like that? Seriously, this guy's gonna end up winning the Norris someday. Ooh, what a move! Oh, and he scored! Kale McCarr, have mercy! Actually, you know what, don't. Just keep murdering the Blackhawks like that, and this is going to be a long, fun time that we have ahead of us. It sounds a little bit weird, but I mean, seriously, who would you rather pay $9.5 million to? Kale McCarr or Seth Jones? I think I know who I'd rather pay. How dare you ruin our perfect month, Nashville? I mean, you only won because of a PS2 men call, but we're going to remember that come playoff time assuming you're actually there. No, but seriously, I mean, we may never end up losing another game again this season. Or at least not in regulation anyway, and certainly not again at home the way things are going. Really, at this point, the only thing that can stop us is when other teams only get two-minute penalties for breaking our star players' faces. Looking at you, Boston, hope you enjoyed that embarrassing comeback loss at home. Of all the teams to break our streak, I was not expecting it to be Arizona. Arizona! <sighs> I mean, I guess they did give us the first two wins of the streak, so maybe it was only fitting, and I would be annoyed by the fact that the Stars were the team to break our home winning streak. But honestly, at this point, the only thing I'm actually worried about is what this could mean for how we're going to play in the playoffs, and more than that, whether or not McKinnon's going to be healthy, because apparently he cannot stop getting injured. Seriously, we need to get some bubble wrap with that guy. Wait, what? The Broncos traded for Russell Wilson? Oh my goodness, the Avs are unstoppable, the Broncos are going to the Super Bowl now, and the Rockies and Nuggets? Well, two out of four teams aren't bad. We can't all be Tampa Bay. Come on, what is this officiating? I mean, seriously, I was not expecting to say this in the offseason, but Landis Gog is my freaking hero. Finally coming out and saying something after how ridiculous that was. The refs are so inconsistent, there's no way to know what they're thinking. They call one penalty, even though there's a clear flop with it. Fair enough, but then right after that, they don't call another penalty because there is a flop. Pick a thing, one or the other, that's all I'm asking. I mean, granted I knew when we signed Kadri that there was an unwritten rule that he can't draw a penalty no matter what happens to him. Seriously, the guy could probably get beheaded on the ice and somehow he would be the one to get penalized. I'm so sick of this. Oh, we're not going to call a penalty on you because we don't like you bullcrap that the refs have been pulling for the last, I don't know how long at this point. Okay, <laughs> losing six of the last seven going into the playoffs certainly doesn't fill me with confidence about how things are going to go, but I mean, we are still first in the West and we did cleverly avoid the President's Trophy curse with the Panthers passing us because of those losses. So yeah, with the sorrowsless Predators in the first round, I guess all eyes are gonna go right to that second round again. <laughs> Five to nothing 
15 minutes in? Really, Nashville? Oh man, this is gonna be easier than I thought. Woo! <laughs> man, I would have hated to be the guy running the scoreboard if we had ended up losing that after he left the score of game one up for the Predators morning skate. But a win's a win. <sighs> Wake me up if they ever get a lead. Well, I mean, they did actually manage to get a lead finally. It only lasted five minutes, but they got one. Just gonna clean things up a little bit. I mean, we got all this extra time with all these lesser teams taking six or seven games to finish their series. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Round two again. Of course, it has to be against the notoriously headhunting Blues. Oh, okay. Another close one and another one that would have been nice to finish off in regulation, but a win's a win and it's off to a good start. Uh-oh, we actually lost a game. <sighs> Who let Bennington be good again? Ah, who cares? Kemper's better anyway. Man, I love Nazem Kadri so much. And the fact that the Blues hate him only makes me love him that much more. I only hope we can keep him past this season. Man, here we are up three games to one and up three nothing with just a few minutes left in the second. We're actually gonna make it past the second ra No, no, not like this. Oh. Thank goodness! Oh, we actually did it! Round three, here we come! You know what? I actually feel a little bit bad for the Blues. I mean, after all, we know what it's like to lose in the second round, and with rent going through the roof everywhere the way that it is, to let a guy like Nazem Kadri stay rent-free in their heads all series? That's just a nice thing to do. Oh, fantastic! I mean, sure, we won game one and that's great, but now Kemper's probably out for the rest of the series after getting poked in the eye, of all things, for a goaltender. Not to mention the fact that that game got way too close in the end after having that 7-3 lead. Never mind, we got this. What a game from Francois, too. Oh, screw you, Evander Kane! And how did the league even let this guy back in anyway after all the crap that he's pulled over the last year? Or at least the things that we found out over the last year anyway. And seriously, a one-game suspension for that? I mean, it will be the rest of his season, but still, that's nowhere near enough. Yes! There we go! See, what did I tell you? I knew it would be the rest of Evander Kane's season. Man, it feels good to just give them that little bit of hope of OT and then just crush it anyway. Finals, here we come. Now, where did I put that broom? Wow, would you look at that? Who knew that oil was so easy to just sweep right up? The back-to-back -back defending champs. I wouldn't have it any other way. Francois was great, but it sure is great to have Kemper back, and what a game one to get things started off. <laughs> 16 shots? 16 shots is all that the back-to-back -back defending Stanley Cup champions could manage against us? And a 7-0 win. Wow, this is going to be easier than I thought. Oh, I'm going to have to get that broom out again. Okay, I mean... I guess we probably weren't going to end up sweeping them. Bill, that was not a very good loss. Even if it was our first one on the road for these playoffs. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wasn't nervous at all. Nope, definitely uh, knew that we had that one in the bag the whole time. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, still a 3-1 lead against this team is not a sure thing, but starting to feel pretty good about this. Yep. Probably would have been too perfect to just win the cup at home, right? Oh boy. Now I just hope we don't pull Vancouver and blow this 3-1 lead that we had. Oh my goodness! It's actually gonna happen! 3, 2, 1, yes! Let's go! Champions once again! 21 years! 21 years I've waited for this and we're finally hoisting the cup once again! For a little bit there, I honestly stopped believing that it was actually going to happen with all of those second round losses and this just generational talent that was going to waste year after year. And now, the first one's out of the way and we've still got years left of McKinnon and McCarr. This is just the start. Tampa Bay, your time is over. It's the Avs turn to go on the dynasty run. So, let me get this straight. We won the high school championship, the college championship, and now the Stanley Cup all in the same year? Who's the real state of hockey now, Minnesota? 